Welcome to the Believer's Voice of Victory from Kenneth Copeland Ministries. Download the notes at kcm.org slash notes. Everybody, welcome to the Believer's Voice of Victory. Pastor Prosperity Pearson is here with us. <laughs> Glory to God for what day, George? 224 days of prosperity wow. we've been Think doing ever since we started in 2011, Two, Gloria. 224. This has been great. If, if you're not prosperous, it's not mine and George's fault because we've preached the word on it that brings prosperity. That's right. And all of these outlines that we're teaching on these are available to you on kcm.org. And not only the ones from these broadcasts, Gloria, but from all of them. Amen. All 224 For not even outlines. a small fee. Not even a small <laughs> fee are available to you. We've had almost, almost 600,000 downloads oh, of these notes. George. That is awesome. And people are hungry to know yeah. about how to walk in the blessing of God and the provision of God. He's interested. You know what? It gives God good pleasure yes. to prosper His people. I need to, I didn't put that scripture in this one. I need to include that. We need that. to, people need to uh, tell us what, how it's blessed we would, them. Yes, that we need to have you? testimonies. If, wouldn't that encourage you to do a thousand more? It would perhaps? encourage me. <laughs> If we heard that on it with was this. a blessing and people oh, are prospering. Yeah. yeah. Hallelujah. Yes. Okay. Well, I'll tell you something, Gloria. This is very interesting, but I was thinking about this this morning as I was praying before I got here. And I thought about how what we are doing is the fulfillment of one of the mandates that God gave to you and Kenneth for this ministry. You know, when I first came on board, and this is my 40th year with the ministry. It's been a while. I, they, you started me. I did the art department. You've but learned I also, a lot, George. I have learned <laughs> a lot. And <laughs> I remember when the, the first meetings that I went on, I traveled with Kenneth. I worked the book tables. I did various things and, and <clears throat> just listening to him preach. And every time he would say, this ministry is called to do, and he'd say something, I'd write it down. And it eventually became the mission statement of our Praise ministry. God. Well, one of the things that we are responsible for in this ministry and in our church is to teach the laws that govern supernatural abundance and prosperity. Praise God. And that's exactly what we're doing that's here. That's right. That's, we are fulfilling that part of the mandate Hallelujah. to bring this message of prosperity, that it is God's will for you to prosper. Yes. He gets good pleasure out of prospering you. And what we're teaching on these two weeks is God is my source. Amen. You know, <clears throat> there are people that are struggling financially, Gloria, and they get under the pressure of that we and the that stress. You know exactly. We, when Terry and I have dealt with that, not to the degree that we Cook potatoes in a Cook coffee pot. Cook potatoes in a but... coffee pot. We did take our my parents out to dinner one time when they came to visit us, and I didn't know if I'd have the money to pay the meal until my dad said, oh, let me take care of it. Said. And I, sure. <laughs> <laughs> so we, 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 but you guys, you have really, that was, you were, you were in an extreme position. We were. And you just took hold of the word that you learned through Brother Hagen when you moved to Tulsa. About faith. And about faith, and then through Brother Roberts, the same thing, the healing ministry. And you were those people who were serious about it. You better believe it. You have to be I'm a serious student of this ministry and of the Word, and I am too. I am too. As a matter of fact, I watch you sometimes when we have ministers conference or we're at a meeting somewhere, or Keith Moore, you're down the road there writing in your notebook. I don't miss. Just listening and taking it all in. Well, we're talking about people who are struggling financially and they, they come to a place where they get under such pressure, they say, where's it going to come from? Where are we going to get it? How are we going to pay this bill? Where's the money going to come from? I remember from? that. And we have to renew our minds, Gloria. We must. I'm doing this. We're all doing this around here because this ministry is called to some big things and we need some big things. And so we're renewing our minds to the fact that God is our, our source. source. He is right. our total support source of supply and it will do something to you. It will do something to our faith when we renew our minds to God being source of everything. I mean, not one thing in our life that does not come from Him, That's right. that we renew our minds to that place. God is my source. God is my source. Healing. Where are you going to get that Deliver. cart? God is my source. How are you going to get healed? God is, the Word is my source. That's right. The Word is my you know source. In other words, faith. Believe faith. in the Word. Faith will do it. And, and there's a, 
here is a word that Brother Copeland had uh, in 2011. Uh, don't look to the government for your supply. Don't look to other people for your supply. Pastors, don't look to your congregation for your supply. Jesus is our source and the Word is our supply. That's right. The government is broke, but Jesus has supplied. <laughs> That's right. The They're government is broke, broke and Jesus has dead. supplied. That's it. And the kingdom of heaven is not broke. No, and it won't nope. ever be broke. It will not. As, as a matter of fact, the kingdom is increasing. Amen. More and more more every and single more. day. And so are you. You are increasing more and more every day. And so I also want to remind you that we have a free book that we want to give to you. God is your That's source. Scriptures. Isn't a lot has, of scriptures? has 70, scriptures. 70 scriptures that I we're talking that. about here. And uh, Gloria and I put this together. It has quotes by Gloria, quotes by me. Um, and just what we're teaching, we're taking everything that we're teaching in these 10 days and condensing it into this book so that you can take this and renew your mind, read it, the scriptures every day. You can carry it with you wherever you go. So that is, that's going to help Christ you tremendously. Gloria, today we're going to talk about the blessing of the Lord. The blessing of the Lord in Proverbs chapter 10, verse 22, the blessing of the Lord, it makes rich. Yeah. and he adds no sorrow to it. The blessing, which really is, <clears throat> when you're talking about God being your source, he is the source of the blessing. He is the blessing. You know, there's a lot of rich people, but uh, they've got sorrow. They, they do. If they don't have God. They're under extreme. now they've got money to do all the curse they want to do, and they're worse off. But we have a blessing. Yes. We can prosper. Yes and be blessed yes. because God is our source. That's the understanding that some religious people don't have about the message of prosperity. Yeah, they right. haven't read the laws of prosperity where Brother Copeland said that true prosperity is the ability to meet the needs of mankind in every realm of life, spirit, soul, yeah, body, financially, right. socially, and to be able to prosper is God's, is God's delight. And it says here, the blessing of the Lord, it doesn't say it makes poor. No. No, it doesn't. It doesn't say it'll just get you by either. <laughs> That's right. It doesn't just get you by. It doesn't, it doesn't get you from paycheck to paycheck. It doesn't make you behind. The blessing of the Lord, it, it makes rich. Amen. And if you look at the word rich, if that's not enough, in the Hebrew, and the word rich is a biblical word. It's not a bad word. It's not a dirty word. It's a it's real, a blessing it's word. a blessing word. And it says in rich, it means to accumulate, to grow rich and become wealthy. That's what that word now, rich means. Now where is it, does it say, or did I just, is this my thought? Rich with no sorrow. Rich with no sorrow. That's another way to say it there. Rich with no sorrow. Hallelujah. <clears throat> the blessing of the Lord, it makes rich. He adds no sorrow, no sorrow to, to it. it. Amen. And this, this uh, Good News Bible says, it is the Lord's blessing that will make you wealthy. See, it, He is the source. He is the source yeah. of that blessing. He is the source of that income. He is the source of that provision. Whatever that provision favor. might He's be. He's the source of the favor. It's the source of the favor. It is the source of your healing. It is yeah. the source of whatever is needed in a household. The blessing of the Lord is your source. The Brenton translation says, the blessing of the Lord is on the head of the righteous. Ah. <clears throat> it enriches him and grief of heart shall not be added to it. Is that so, on your notes? I like mm -hmm. that. Yeah, that's number three there on the top part, A. Eh? The, the blessing of the Lord, it's on the head of the righteous or the blessing of the Lord, it sits on us. We are blessed Hallelujah. everywhere we go. Terry and I are experiencing things all the time. The blessing of the Lord is all over us, Gloria. Praise God. The favor of God, the things that the Lord is doing, is just absolutely, <clears throat> just the other day. It's a blessing. They called me from the accounting department here. Um, it was Jen, your sister. And we were talking and she said, oh, by the way, I thought I'd let you know that somebody sent in a $200,000 check for the church. Praise Ooh. God. Was that a blessing? That was a blessing. Hallelujah. That was a blessing, Gloria. Praise and God. we expect it all the time. We, we are very careful that we do not look to people. Now think about that. Somebody in your church mm -hmm. 
got blessed big time. They did. And then they sent an offering to the church. They did. They How come did. they got blessed? Because they heard the word. They believed it. They mm -hmm. took it. Mm -hmm. And the blessing of the Lord makes rich. It was a member of our congregation. Praise God. And they sowed that $200,000 into... I believe they receive a hundred. I believe it too. Terry and I had the opportunity to pray with them, and to pray over them, and to believe God with them. Praise God. But I expect that all the time. Yes. As I teach our church to say that when they hear a good testimony in church, we say, and that happens, happens to, to me all, all the, the time. time. Amen. That yes. happens to me all the time. Hallelujah. So the blessing of the Lord, it makes, it makes rich. It's not, your, it's not your smarts. It's not how talented we are. It's not any of those things. We have it's to. It's good that it's not any of those things. Yeah, we, it is good. <laughs> it is good. It is the blessing. Yes, it is the blessing of the Lord that makes us truly rich. Mm -hmm. There's a difference between the worldly rich yeah. And the truly and rich. And the truly rich. Um, and <laughs> because the truly rich has no sorrow added to it. That's right. That's right. And they're givers and they're sowers. And <clears throat> they, they, are, they always have others on their minds. I mean, that's, that's what truly rich that's is good. all about. So let's talk about this blessing, Gloria. In Genesis chapter 1, let me flip over there to Genesis chapter 1. And in verses 27 and 28, so God created man in his own image and the likeness, the image and the likeness of God created he him. Male and female, he created them and God blessed them. Okay, here's the blessing. It is, yes. God blessed them and said to them. Now, in, in, in essence, the definition of the blessing is found right here. What he said over them. He said, be fruitful. Mm -hmm. So to be blessed means to be fruitful or to produce much fruit, to multiply. We are to multiply in our resources, to multiply in our ability increase. to give, our increase, to increase. He said, and fill the earth. Now listen to this. And subdue it using all its vast resources in the service of God and man. Praise Isn't that God. a great scripture? Mm -hmm. Have dominion over the fish, over the birds of the air, over every living creature that moves upon the earth. Now let Praise me read God. this next section to us, Gloria, because <clears throat> this comes from this comes from a book that Brother Copeland wrote called The Blessing of the Lord It Maketh Rich and adds no sorrow to it. That's available. Uh, you can get that at KCM, and I'm quoting Brother Copeland here. He said, with those words, God imparted to Adam and Eve and to all mankind the blessing. He told them who they were. They were the lords of the earth created by God in his image as rulers and royalty. He told them what they were supposed to do, replenish or fill up the earth, mm. subdue it, and bring it in line with the perfect will of God. He also gave them the power to carry out that assignment. So in, in number three here, it says, he, Kenneth says, to bless actually means to empower. Oh, that's good. I like that. To bless means to empower. It means, it means that God empowers us to prosper. The source is Him. It's all Him. It's all Him. So the first words that Adam ever heard, the first sound that ever struck wow. his eardrums was the sound of God's voice empowering him with a divine creative ability to reign over the earth and to make it a perfect reflection of God's best in his highest will. Isn't that awesome? That's Praise the blessing. God. Mm. <clears throat> That's the blessing. And that blessing, Gloria, is still activated. It's still yes, it alive. It still, it still tells us what we are responsible to do. As a matter of fact, I'm reading back now what Brother Copeland just read here with those words. With those words, God imparted to you and me the blessing. The blessing Be blessed. has been imparted to I us. Be it. blessed. So you could say here, he told us who we are. We are the lords of the earth created by God in His image as rulers and royalty. He tells us what we're supposed to do. We are supposed to replenish or fill up the earth. We are supposed to subdue it and bring it in line into the perfect will of God. We have dominion. 
We have dominion. We take dominion. <clears throat> we have authority. That's, That's right. the blessing. That's it. That's the blessing. And, and yet, then there's just multitudes <clears throat> of Christians that don't take it. No, they don't. I take it. Yes, I do. I, I do too. Authority. I do too. Sickness tries to come on me. I say, no, you don't. You're not coming here. Lack tries to come on me. I say, uh-uh, not here you don't. That's I'm it. blessed. That's I've it. been blessed and I can't be cursed. That's right. You've Hallelujah. been blessed. You can't be cursed. Somebody, I heard somebody <laughs> say this in their thoughts. I'd never say that. Well, you better get over that and start saying, I'm blessed. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Yes. It takes that kind of discipline, Gloria, for us to line up our words yeah. with the Word of God, with the blessing that He has for us, that <clears throat> God is our source and the, it's the blessing of the Lord that is resting upon us for us to be able to fulfill and, and do what He's called us to do. How did that blessing come upon us? <clears throat> Through the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. We received Him yes. as our Lord and Savior. We were born again. Yep. The blessing came on us. Yep. We're blessed. The devil can't do anything about it unless we let him. Unless, unless we, we him let him. Words to work with. Yeah. And allow him to do things he has no right to do. What is he anyway? He's a thief and a liar. Yep. That's what he does for a living. He's and he's, a he's, a def and a liar. he's a thief and a liar. And he's a defeated one at that. That's right. And so we put him in his place. And we've been given that authority, that dominion. You know, when it talks the about of Jesus. subduing the earth, I heard a definition one time about that word subdue. If it gets out of line, put it back. That's good. That's it. If it gets out of line, write you that put down. it back. Is that on your list here? Mm -mm. No, that just kind of came, came up in me from my memory of some things that I've studied before. But, you know, <clears throat> you have dominion over your own household. If it gets out of line, you put it back. Amen. Oh, Terry and I, we've been, we've been dealing with several, several issues in our home about things breaking down. And we, th we got to thinking about it and we started talking about it. And here's what we came to, the fact that we're tithers. That's right. And the Lord said, I will rebuke the devourer for your sake. Somebody tries to devour your refrigerator. You say, no, no. No. <laughs> the devil, <laughs> right. tries, the to devil tries to devour, devour your house. Air conditioner. Say, no, so no, we no. took authority, Gloria, over that and That's said, in the choice. name of Jesus, we declare tithers' rights. Tithers' rights. We take authority over our household and we command the draining of finances to stop right now and things to be fixed. You line up in Jesus' name. Amen. Be fixed in the name of Jesus. That's a and great so message there, George. We had, to, we had to just take our authority and subdue it, but the blessing of the Lord is on us. That's right. Now, on the second page, Gloria, let's just run through a couple of these scriptures. Um, this first one, just God is the source of your wealth. He is the source of our wealth. And look at these scriptures, Genesis 14, 22. But Abram said to the king of Sodom, I have raised my hand to the Lord, God most high, the possessor yeah. of heaven and earth that I will take nothing from a thread to a sandal strap, mm -hmm. and that I will not take anything that is yours, lest you should say, I have made Abram rich. What we're saying here is Abraham knew, Abram knew that it was God that made him rich. That's right. And he wasn't about to take anything from that king right. for that king to say, I made Abram rich. I won't take anything from anybody. Anything from anybody Lord. except the Lord. That's right. And Abram had really fixed his heart and fixed his mind on the fact that God was his source. Gloria, why don't you read this next one? This is from the Amplified Translation. Number two there, read that to us. Uh, uh, Amplified is Genesis 15, 1. After these things, the word of the Lord came to Abram in a vision saying, Fear not, Abram, I am your shield, your abundant compensation, and your reward shall be exceedingly great. <laughs> now, what was the first instruction for the rest of this to come to pass? Mm. Fear don't, not. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. <laughs> <laughs> Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. Because no. fear and faith can't work together. That's so if right, you're a Gloria, person that's who right. is in fear, yeah. you need to take action immediately. Get your faith going. Mm -hmm. Learn how to believe God and stay with it. Because here's the thing. Faith opens the door to God. Fear opens the door to the devil. God, the blessing is on us to bless us. And fear steals from us opens the door to the yes, devil. Yes, it does. The things yes, that they does. feared yep. came upon them. Yeah. So we're not having any fear. Mm -mm. We're just having mm -mm. the blessing. So we're going to stay in faith. You say, yeah, but but I, I, I never have really, 
I don't know how to do that. What do you do? You take the word, you put it in your eyes and your ears. If it's a word about healing, you look up the scriptures on healing. You take it, get it down in your heart. You say it with your mouth. You release your faith and say, I believe. I believe. By, my, by your stripes. By your stripes. I was healed. I was healed. If I was healed. If I was healed. I am healed. I am healed. And my body, put your hands on your head and say, my body is healed now. My body is healed now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. That's the way you take authority. That's the way you take Praise authority God, over finances. Gloria. That's right. That's Our right. children that are out lost and yes, have, don't know God. Yep. You don't let the devil run over you. We're Come supposed on. to stop him. George. Come on, Gloria. That's oh, it. That's right. That's it. That's it. Hallelujah. The last couple of scriptures, Deuteronomy 8, 18, and you shall remember the Lord your God for it is he yeah, who gives you the power from. to get wealth that he may establish his covenant, which he swore to your fathers as it is this day. Hallelujah. First Chronicles 29, 12, both riches and honor come from you. There you have it. And our first one, last one here rather, First Timothy 6, 17, command those who are rich in this present age not to be haughty, nor to trust in uncertain riches, That's but right. in the living God who gives us richly all, all things, things to enjoy. To enjoy. So he is glory are, the source. What is all things? All things. All. Amen. All. That's what I A-L-L. -L. All. All things. Everything. Richly the, to enjoy. Not stingily. Not meagerly. Richly. Oh, richly. I believe this. Richly. I believe it. All things I to enjoy. It. Glory to God. Praise Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. That was good. You know, there's <laughs> lots of good stuff in your Bible. You just need to get in it and find out what. And it's all a blessing. If you'll walk with God, you can have it. Hallelujah. George and I'll be right back. We hope you enjoyed today's teaching from Kenneth Copeland Ministries. Be sure to get the notes at kcm.org notes. And remember, Jesus is Lord.